Hi, it's February 7th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton, joined by Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thanks for being here, Brian. Mm -hmm. um, fairly uh, active week in the fixed income markets, interest rate-wise. What uh, trends did we see? Yeah, uh, a little bit of a different story today versus most of the week, but uh, for most of the week we saw equity markets rallying, uh, treasuries selling off, tenure was higher in yield by about 14, 15 basis points yesterday, uh, and that's, then it seemed like there was a pretty big risk off trade today. So despite a really strong non-farm payroll number this morning, which uh, exceeded expectations, you still saw treasuries rally back um, a decent amount. Uh, it seemed like uh, most of that had to do with coronavirus fears mm -hmm. leading into the weekend, um, you know, concerns about what might come out over the weekend and things like that. But uh, overall, net-net uh, for the week, treasuries were about maybe eight basis points or so higher in yield. Muni's outperformed that sell-off. Um, so we were only off about three basis points in 10 and 30 years. Uh, broken record time, another billion four in inflows for, for muni funds. Right. Uh, so manageable supply. The technicals were, uh, you know, were strong for another another decent week in muni space. I just have to avoid one of my go-to phrases about the all-important employment report. <laughs> Did not carry the day today. Uh, let's take a look at the new issue market. As you mentioned, uh, a little over $7 billion for the past week and $241 million in BAM insured uh, transactions. Yeah, another uh, another strong week uh, on the BAM side. You know, again, uh, we continue to see the, the, the trend of taxables, whether it's taxable muni or corporate paper. Um, about a third of the supply was uh, was in the taxable space. Um, but again, whether it was tax exempt or taxable, most of the deals were pretty well subscribed for. Uh, for BAM, we were also active uh, on, on taxables. Uh, two of our largest deals uh, this week were taxable Alabama bonds. Uh, we did $88 million for Alabaster Board of Ed, uh, which was priced by Fraser Lanier, and also $38 million for Jasper um, Geos, which was priced by Raymond James. So. Nice, uh, nice penetration in that space. And also notice we had a uh, six point three million dollar BAM Green Star transaction mm -hmm. for the Mid Valley School District in Lackawanna County, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, the entire transaction is financing energy efficiency upgrades to the school building, so it qualifies as a green bond under the green bond principles. Um, so looking ahead for next week, the calendar is going to build. I think over two hundred fifty million dollars of BAM insured paper mm -hmm. already on the docket, uh, eight billion dollars total. Uh, what stands out to you? Yeah, uh, you know, another, again anticipating another active week over a quarter billion. Um, we're going to be doing 84 million for a Tulare Healthcare District in California. That's going to be uh, priced by Piper, uh, and then as well, we're going to be doing about 52 million for Port Huron uh, in Michigan. Um, that'll be priced by R.W. Baird, and 40 million for a St. Louis Library District, priced by Stiefel. So a nice active week next week. Great. And Greg Pacifico from BAM's East Region uh, Public Finance Department will be doing a Credit Insights video about the St. Louis transaction. That'll be on our YouTube page on Monday. So please come back and watch for that. Have a great weekend. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes, double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes, double A guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM.